In this video, we will walk through the basic steps for configuring remote access via a service tunnel, which will allow remote users access to local resources using SonicWall's Cloud Secure Edge service. In the Cloud Secure Edge console, we will start by creating a local connector, a device that exists at your local site, which will allow secure connectivity to local resources. In the Cloud Secure Edge console, click Networks on the left side menu, then click Create Connector. From this screen, we can configure the connector name and specify IP addresses and DNS names for the local resources that will be accessed through this connector. Keep in mind that IP addresses are mandatory, but DNS names are optional. Once those parameters are configured, click Continue. The next screen shows all of the deployment options for the connector. The connector software can be installed on a Windows or Linux PC, or a virtual appliance can be deployed in a local VMware environment. Installing the local connector is not part of this tutorial, but the step-by-step -step directions are provided here for each of the options. Once the appropriate connector has been set up in the local environment, click Save and Exit. After some time, the status will change from pending to reporting, and once the connector shows reporting, it is ready for use. Next, we will configure the service tunnel, which the remote users will utilize for accessing the local resources through the connector. Click Private Access on the left side menu, then click Add Service Tunnel. From here, you must give the service tunnel a name. Next, you will specify the connector. Click Add Network and then click the connector. Once you click the connector, you can see the connector's details in the Private Info section the public include and exclude info are not relevant for this tutorial and can be skipped. The assignment settings section is where policy can be applied to the service tunnel. Access policies are where different criteria can be evaluated to allow or deny accesses to resources within Cloud Secure Edge. For this tutorial, we will use a default group named All Users and Devices, which will allow all users who connect to your Cloud Secure Edge service access to the local resources. Enabling Connect at Login will allow users to access the local resources immediately after logging into the Cloud Secure Edge client. Once all of the options have been set, click Save. You can now see that the service tunnel is active and ready for users to connect with the Cloud Secure Edge client. <music>